continue when Fort noticed something on my shoes. And with that, they worked again, allowing me once more to defy gravity. I kind of wish we had seen this switch months ago, but Fort just <laughs> seemed to find it hilarious as we continued on our way home. Going home again. Remember when life's path is steep, keep your mind even. Quintus Horatius Flaccus. Alright. We are going home, people. <laughs> I felt awful about how I had treated Fort, so I arranged a day after us as soon as I could. The thing from the moon has landed. I had completely forgotten that it was Heather's camera. Suddenly I was totally and completely overcome with the urge to go home. I thought I was happy here, but I realized I wasn't. Plus Fort was right, I was being delusional. The moon rocket must have landed by now and there really was no chance of peace. We had to do something. I told the advisors about my plan to go home and head off the man in black. But they seemed more concerned with taxing their own people and tried to fob me off with more days out and video games. So, we smiled and left the advisors to it, waited until dark, and on Fort's advice, just sort of ran off. <laughs> sort of ran off. It wasn't difficult to sneak out. There was no one around thanks to the robot city curfew laws. But to be honest, as I was their king, I don't think anyone would have stopped us anyway. I think my astro navigation had failed us, as neither I nor Fort remembered coming this way. Somehow we found ourselves in the massive forest, and Fort decided it was time to rest. I'm going to Firewatch. It wasn't long before we were inside a huge sawmill. Oh, okay. Fort seemed quite sad about the trees being cut down. I feel you, Fort. Our journey took us through a huge theme park. It was just like the one in Alice's town, but much bigger. Yeah, we never really went to the theme park. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh oh. That's not cool, pomegranate. I was struck by how similar the inside of a sawmill and the inside of the roller coaster were. <laughs> Eventually we wound up inside the ski resort, but we could see a huge boat in the valley below. suggested we travel under the cover of night as we were getting near the humans and home the cruise liner carried us through the night to warmer waters this is beautiful like, surprised how I'm not saying got. anything is I'm just amazed at how just beautiful this software this run is the bay that, we that was, the boat in was just amazing familiar. speechless the green white cliffs made me feel like a soldier returning home from war it was then I realized we were literally just outside Alice's house we were about to continue when Fort noticed something on my shoes and with that they worked again Allowing me once more to defy gravity. I kind of wish we had seen this switch months ago, but Fort just <laughs> seemed to find it hilarious as we continued on our way home. Right, I'm not king of the robots here. Yes, junk please. I'm gonna insist. I insist, I absolutely insist. So <clears throat> stupid. Thank you. 
I mean, I don't think a basketball is gonna deter you, but I'm gonna try again. Oh, it's great. I just go here. Oh, no, I can't. I don't know this one. Oh, I got my. Yeah, right. I turned them on. Not through the church. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do, but fine, I'll help you ladies, I'll help you, that's fine, you're, uh, you look tired, oh, sorry about that, bet. Thank you, Helen. Ruth, you're uh, being quick right now. You're being ruthless. A plus, thank you very much. Uh, oh, right. Can I do that? Up, 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 and away, no? We got a save point here, which is smart. We made it. Damn, it's a lot of trash. Space trash. Not really. What? Yeah, that's, that's nice. I'll take it. Let's keep shooting over there. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I guess then train station it is.
We want to go to Mainton. Mind the door. Mind the door. The trade is now departing. This is Big City. Mind the floor. The train is now departing. Mainton is the next stop. I could get back to the mainland and miss the Silvins from here. Mm hmm. It's exactly the plan. King? Okay, we're just gonna go back to the house. Let's see what's up. Let's see what disaster has befallen us now with the nice virus. I mean, something must have went wrong. This can't be it. The boat was gone, so I decided yeah, yeah. to see if there was anyone in Mr. Silton's house. That's uh, the first sign right there. Okay, so nothing here. I'm gonna go back to the house, I think, from... Mm, there's a door. Maybe? There we go. That, that thing here. That thing. What's the other door, but why not? Back. 
I suggested Fort find somewhere to hide. <coughs> I thought the others may not have seen him as being as friendly as I did. I then made my way into the familiar damp hallway. Familiar. Everyone was Hello, so everyone. pleased to see me. I explained how I had survived being dismantled and escaped from the moon. Don't get for it, okay? About the robots and the game tournament, and everyone seemed to find it funny that I was crowned ruler of the universe. It was then that I felt a gentle tapping on my leg. I looked down and saw a small girl smiling at me. This is our daughter Heather, said Mrs. Silton. We named her after... Mr. Silton burst into the room looking mm. very angry. At first I thought he was joking, but it soon became clear that he wasn't. I can't believe you came back here. It's all your fault. What? If it weren't for you, Preston would still be alive. Barry, it's not his fault. But Mr. Silton suddenly looked very sad as he said, This robot got your daughter killed. What? What? <sighs> Damn, girl. That's the intro. It might have been because he was 10 feet tall, or because he literally weighed a ton, but everybody <clears throat> was so scared it thought. Still, they all agreed it was fine for him to stay. We chatted long into the night until one by one, everyone went to bed. So now we're dreaming together is oh with oh see everyone Huh 